Ugh. Twitter. 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 Why is it whenever something stupid happens, it always has got to do with Twitter? My lord. Jesus goddamn Christ. Every single time I come on here and I make a video and I'm like, this is dumb. It always has to do with Twitter. And today, it's got to do with a special man on Twitter. Someone who's captivated the, or the, the internet for many years now. And that himself is Andrew Tate. That's right. I don't think I've actually made a video on Andrew Tate, like an exclusive video on this man. I, I, I may have mentioned him previously in some videos here and there every once in a while, but I don't think I've ever made an actual video on Andrew Tate. But today I have to, because to me, this man gets involved in a lot of Twitter beef and a lot of it's like kind of stupid but this to me would have to be some of the dumbest like twitter beef twitter argument that i have ever seen in my entire like like i don't think you guys understand how stupid this all really is there was this guy yesterday who put out this tweet his name is art well his art is found and he put out this tweet asking what would seem to be a simple question he's like my wife and i had our honeymoon in italy exactly a year ago just got an italian speeding ticket in the mail one year later lol do i actually pay this thing what happens if i don't if you're just a normal person and you see this you're like yeah like uh i'm not really sure like this is a fair enough thing to tweet out like if you have a few thousand followers a few hundred followers and people reply to you maybe you might find someone in italy or maybe my share and they might like let you know or someone else has gotten a foreign speeding ticket before and majority of the time they might just say like oh yeah you know, you probably sh you don't have to pay it. Just don't worry about it. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. You know, the police aren't going to come and arrest you. Like, it it Italy isn't going to send out the mafia from Calabria or Sicily and go out and, like, you know, go go to wh wh whatever country you're in and take you back to Italy to, to chuck you in jail. You're probably fine. But to me, like, seeing this tweet... It's absolutely fine. It's like, he's asking, he's like, do I actually have to pay this? And even I, would, even I would be curious. I'm like, what happens if you don't pay a foreign spinning ticket? Like, probably nothing. But it's just a good thing to, like, wonder what. Like, is there anything bad that will happen? Obviously, Andrew Tate, the absolute dumbass, doesn't see it this way. And he proceeds to reply to this guy, not just once, but actually twice. Now, the first reply is Andrew Tate puts out this, saying, imagine even considering paying it. Bro, how are we going to fight against the Matrix when the men of Earth collapse to an outdated Italian letter in the mail? Gay as fuck. I, I, I mean, I, I don't even know if the guy was necessarily considering paying it. He was just asking, like, what happens if I don't? Like I said, there's nothing absolutely wrong. How is this fighting against the Matrix for, like, you know, asking a question about what would happen if, I, if he didn't pay an Italian speeding ticket? And you would think that would be it. you think that Andrew Tate would just, like, you know, be done with it right there. But then he decides to put out another tweet. Now, this one itself is actually, like, visibly limited. Like, you have to go into Andrew Tate's replies. Or, like, because if you go in the original tweet and look through the replies, you can't actually see it. I think it's in, like, the hidden. He, like, doubled downs on this. Andrew Tate comes out and he's, he, he puts out another tweet saying, You're a faggot. And this display of absolute cowardice at even considering paying is how Western civilization ended up cucked to homos and females. Your wife will one day leave you because she senses your weakness and you deserve it. I am actually like, I'm really speechless because it just doesn't make sense to my brain whatsoever about what's so cowardice and being a faggot and saying that you're cucked because you're asking a question about how you got a letter in the mail for you being a speeding fine overseas when you're on your honeymoon a year ago and you're simply asking should i pay this fine like do i have to like what happens if i don't this guy probably doesn't want to pay it i mean i wouldn't want to pay it but i would be like hey does anything happen if i pay it like does italy contact my country and like you know they send it over to my country and then like you know it just gets taxed on more like if i don't pay it here in my country like it's a reasonable question to ask but like andrew tate just takes it to like a realm that to me didn't i didn't even think was possible and you'd think that this would be it you think that andrew tate would be done here but not only does he put out two replies he goes ahead and makes a whole entire three minute long video about this man bro it's all so fucking gay everyone's a faggot we literally ended up in this position because everyone's a fucking faggot that's how we ended up here with fucking Kamala laughing her way. <laughs> Collard greens. 
the fuck? This is the best America has? It's all so fucking gay. I'll tell you why it's gay. Let me prove to you it's gay. The saviors of Western civilization, the men, the heroes, have all become such monumental super fags that now they are ruled by women and homos, LGBT. Look at this. I, I, this poor guy has 4,000 followers. I had to reply to his tweet. But he is exactly the problem that's wrong with the world. My wife and I had our honeymoon in Italy exactly a year ago. Just got an Italian speeding ticket in the mail one year later, LOL. Do I have to pay this thing? What happens if I don't? My wife and I, <laughs> my wife, I've got a wife. My wife and I, we went somewhere a year ago. My wife and I. You're fucking gay, bro. What do you think they're gonna send Interpol? Think they're gonna fucking arrest you? I'm literally outside the court for human trafficking. Literally right now. I haven't opened any of their letters. And I have to come here. You're worried about an old Italian letter, a year old, and you go to the internet for advice? If I don't pay it, what will happen, guys? You're fucking gay. I'm not going to show the entire video because it's like, like I said, it's three minutes long. And he just keeps going on about how much this guy's a loser and all that kind of stuff. And how much the Western world is, is failing because, because of people like this guy. And the funniest part about all this is that this guy, Art, actually goes ahead and replies the tweet the last reply of where andrew tate like calls him you know a faggot and saying that he's cowardice and all that kind of stuff tweets to him with a photo of himself andrew tate probably thought this guy was like some small dude no this guy's a beast look at this he replies saying i will end your bloodline little man and then puts out this photo of him in the gym and this is one buff ass motherfucker Holy Jesus! And the funniest thing about this is that he ratios the fuck out of Andrew Tate. Like, oh my god, Andrew Tate's reply had 17,000 likes. This man's reply, 158,000 likes. That is absolutely insane. And then on the video that Andrew Tate put out, because he like quote retweeted the initial tweet that that guy put out, and he like also retweets the guy like andrew tay he no, doesn't retweet it so he replies to it saying that like he didn't pay the fine by the way which i mean i, I kind of guess that anyways like i said the guy was just probably asking a question when it comes to andrew tay like to me I, I have i have a lot of thoughts when it comes to this man now when it comes to andrew tate's point of views i feel like whenever it comes to him speaking strictly just about men Whenever it comes to him, like, trying to motivate men, I feel like he's fine. Like, whenever I've heard him talk about how, like, you know, you should be a better man. Be the best man that you can be. Be manly. Be a man. You know, go out. Be rich. Be a man. Buy a car. Do all that. I feel like he's fine. I feel like he's great. Like, whenever he talks specifically like that, I feel like he's great. And he's absolutely fine. And, and there's nothing bad about it. But, oh, my God. Whenever, like, women get involved... Whenever he talks about women, that's when it takes a second spiral down. Because he always, he just, he doesn't know how to talk about women in like the right goddamn way. Talking about how this girl is going to leave him, his wife's going to leave him because of his weakness. Because he was asking a question on the internet about what he would have to do with a foreign fine. Like, what? How is this? And then and the whole entire Matrix thing? Like, you know what? I get it. The world, from what we see in the public, there's a lot of stuff in this world that we don't know about. 110%. No doubt about it. Like, there is some, if you want to call it the Matrix or whatever it is, there is a lot in this world. There's a lot of shady things that go on in this world. But, Andrew, Ta but Tate, you, the way that you address things and the way that you talk about things makes you look and sound like a complete dumbass it really does like this guy could be so much more respected if he just spoke but the thing that like i i, I am co i'm convinced this is just me at least i i really am convinced that he's actually just putting it on like i'm convinced that like you know what he's he's upping it for the cameras i i honestly am i don't think that andrew tate is really really like like he is to a certain extent but i reckon stuff like this he's putting it on for views, for money,
because like it gets clicks even if people hate him people are still gonna follow him people are still gonna listen to him people are still like you know if people hate on him it's still getting attention to his name like that's to me why i'm convinced that it's not real i convince andrew tate just puts it up i mean all creators do that i mean even sometimes i do it like yeah i i am um, i try to be as authentic as possible but here and there especially if i'm streaming i put it on just a little bit like i i in general in real life i'm a dumbass anyways but when i'm streaming i just be a little bit more of a dumbass but i feel like andrew tate takes his views that are like maybe here Maybe his, his real, his actual views are a little bit like somewhat controversial, but not that bad. But he just ups it like 10 times more just to make himself like more of a public figure. I am honestly convinced that that's what it all is. I'm convinced that the real Andrew Tate is not the person that we see behind, like in front of the camera. I, I, I am. I really, really am. But I would definitely like to hear what you guys think about all this down below. I think this is the one of the dumbest Twitter beefs that I have ever seen in my life. Like, not from the art guy's perspective, just like Andrew Tate responding to this and starting the beef from literally, like, what shouldn't even be a problem. But that's gonna be it for me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Peace out.